Hi everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. This is not exactly the video I thought I was gonna be filming today, <laughs> but we are here and we are filming and I'm still excited to show you. You guys probably have seen from the title, this is supposed to be the finale of my sample project <laughs> where I had picked 16 samples to use up and I did a really bad job. <laughs> so, um, part of it is because I kind of just didn't mask and part of it is because I just was unprepared. <laughs> so I am giving myself a little grace, which is what I learned in 2020 to give myself some grace, especially in project panning. And I'm going to extend this project <laughs> for a little bit longer. So I, I had initially given myself two weeks to use up these 16 products and that just didn't happen. I finished five, which is amazing. And I'll show you those in a second. But there are other ones that I was hoping to get to. So I am going ahead and I am going to allow myself two more weeks and hopefully finish at least another five, if not more. And yeah, I'm excited. So I also might add in some samples here and there and I'll show you kind of what I'm thinking, but I'll only add those in if I have finished all my other samples in that category. So whew, now that I've said that, long intro over, let's get into the empties. The first thing I used was this Q10 Plus Anti-Wrinkle Soothing Mask. I used this yesterday, and this is a huge, <laughs> huge product. Um, if I had not felt rushed to film this, I probably would have taken two uses on this, but instead what I did is I put it all over my face and then I brought it down the neck. I ended up going my, my entire decollete all the way to the top of my bosoms, and it's just a very, very hydrating mask. I got this in Germany, um, it, I don't know if it does anything, <laughs> to be honest with you. It says visibly smooths lines and wrinkles for radiant younger looking skin. Uh, it was just an extreme hydrator and I feel like that's what it does. It kind of plumps from the inside to lift the wrinkles out. I don't feel any extra moisture today. So <laughs> I don't know. Yesterday did I really know, but maybe I'm uncertain about that one. But I liked it. Um, I won't repurchase it because I'm no longer in Germany, but... I'm glad it's gone out of my collection. I finished this Bioessence Squalene and Peptide Eye Gel. And I got this from Sephora. This is actually really nice. <laughs> like, really nice. I like this. Um, my eyes seem to work really well with the peptides in here. I did feel like the outer edge of my eye looked visibly smoother. I am starting to get some wrinkles um, on the inside of my eyes, too. You know, Listen, I'm 33, about to turn 34. That's the reality of life, right? You're gonna get some of those laugh lines underneath the eyes. See, you can see them. <laughs> so when I stop smiling, you can still kind of see where they are. Um, I think this did a really nice job of smoothing it out. I and I really saw it on the outer edge of my eye here where like the crow's feet start, but I think it did a good job in the middle too. This might be something I'm gonna look into. Um, I've got some more eye creams to use up before I get to this, but I thought it was good, so. I'm gonna put it on my Sephora wish list, I think. This one was the winner though. This is called High High Five Cannabis Facial Moisturizer. Oh my gosh, I don't know where to buy this. I'm gonna look this up right now. This stuff is amazing. My skin has never felt so silky smooth in its entire life. I was amazed. I think I use pretty good skincare. I think it's something that I love and something that I focus on. Like I focus on putting moisturizer on every day. And this made my skin look even better <laughs> than it already was. Um, and side note, these did take, like these little sample samples, these were still like four uses each. So I'm very happy with the size that was in here. Um, love this one. It says it's made in California. I'm gonna look this up and see where I can find it because this is definitely going on a wish list somewhere. I'm kind of hoping I can get it from Sephora. I know I can't get it at Ulta. I asked my Ulta friends, <laughs> just like, hey, like, do we sell this? Because sometimes it's like an online only product, so I won't know it in store, but oh, this was so good. I'm also going to check out some other cannabis or uh, CBD oil products. Like I know Derma E has one that I'm really interested in now, so we'll see what happens there. This one was very disappointing. This is the Scentbird Melting Shower Scrub in Mango and Kiwi. Very, very disappointing. First of all, this looks huge, right? This did not even have one use in it. I was in the shower, I pulled out my loofah, I squeezed it out, and I'm like, that's it. And I was like, no, there has to be more. There has to... No, there, there was no more. It was not even a pea-sized amount. 
Okay, maybe it was like in between, it was a nickel size amount in there. Like, oh, it was like nothing. Um, so I couldn't get my entire body on this. The scrub was weak. Um, and then it left like kiwi seeds all over my bathroom shower. Yeah, I could have rinsed them down, but that was annoying. And it smelled nice. That was the only redeeming thing about this. I couldn't wash my entire body. It didn't seem to exfoliate. It just smelled nice. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. Um, this is what I have on my face today. I put the three shades on together. Um, and the, the three shades actually came out to be my perfect shade. Um, one was definitely a warm tone, a light warm tone. One was a neutral and one was like a cool tone. Together, it worked out perfectly for me. And I think it looks pretty nice on my skin today. It has a very natural finish, which I like. Um, I did put on the Laura Mercier powder over top of it. And... I'm looking to see how long it wears, but I think it does a good job. I didn't even put a primer on, like that's how little <laughs> I felt about this foundation. Um, it doesn't feel weightless though, like it does feel like I've got a little something on my skin and doesn't feel super hydrating. I don't know why, but I thought this was going to be hydrating. Uh, I do agree that it is a medium buildable coverage and I think it does minimize the appearance of pores, which is good. And I'm interested to see, it says it doesn't transfer. And it doesn't feel sticky at all, but I don't know if that's because of the powder or the foundation itself, but I think it looks good. I don't need another foundation right now, but the Stain Naked line has always been popular, so I know a lot of people love it. I just, for some reason, I'm just never really drawn to Urban Decay. I don't know what's that all about, but say la vie. Now, there are three products that I'm working on that I haven't finished yet, but are still in my, you know, to use. This is the Mario Badescu Ceramide Herbal Eye Cream. I probably have half of this left, and this has been going strong for four days, five days. Um, this is like a little dab will do yet. This feels really, really nice. It's one of those super, super thick, super thick, like you can put it on your finger and turn it upside down and it's not going to fall off eye creams. I like that. Um, I do think that it's not as nice as the BioEssence one. Um, I find that Mario Badescu products don't really work well for me. I don't know if it's because the fragrance are in there or what. But I feel like now that I've stopped using BioEssence, I do see that like the crinkles underneath my eyes are bigger. So it's fine. I wouldn't go out and buy it again. The Mario Badescu Peptide Renewal Cream. I still have probably two days left on this too. Um, I do think it looks good on my skin. It looks hydrated today, but it's just not like a go-to for me. I don't think it's like anything special, especially compared to the high. I just don't see a need to continue using that one after that sample's done. And then the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I have used one <laughs> out of eight. There was a surprising amount of product in here. This actually took four uses to use up. Um, so this is one of the reasons like I want to keep going on it because that's a lot of product for me to go through and hopefully I continue to do so. Yeah, okay. You saw in the, the beginning video, these are all the ones I haven't gone through yet. Anthony Cleanser, Mask. Gold mask, nose strip, skincare mask from Tarte, the lip. I actually meant to open this one by Laneige and I just didn't, so I'm gonna actually put that aside to making myself open it now. The Derma Doctor Brightening Cleanser and the Clinique uh, Hydrating Jelly, but I'm gonna get to that after the Marbid SQ. I kind of thought there'd only be two uses in each of these, so I thought I'd be done, but we're here and this is why I'm giving myself some grace. If, and only if, I finish all of those, I'm going to get to this one, the Tatcha Silk Canvas Filter Finishing Primer. I got a little tiny sample of it. I like this primer, so I want to get into that. The foundation here, this is from MAC. This is the Studio Fix Fluid. Can you believe I've never tried this? And I have it in the shades N5 and C3.5, so I'm hoping one of those two will work for me. I got another Clinique one. This is the Clinique Fresh Press System with Pure Vitamin C. It has these two little guys in it. I gotta figure out how to use it, um, but I should be pretty easy, right? Hopefully. <laughs> but that's if I finish all the moisturizers. And I've got the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation Sample little thing. This will probably just be a one time use too, but I wanna use it because I got the sample packet and why let it sit in my stuff for so long? Because that just seems silly to me. But there we go. That is where we are at. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully I come back in two weeks <laughs> and I have a lot more empties. Um, but even if I've just finished the original 16, I'll be extremely happy. 
Uh, but thank you for your flexibility on this project. I appreciate that. And I'm looking forward to coming back with a lot more X's on things. Because <laughs> five X's is kind of sad. Out of 16, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking I could use it more than this. But the fire underneath my bum has been lit. And I will come back with more empties. I will see you in my next video. You guys have a great day. I'm panning. Bye.